Today we're checking out Fabledom. This is a colony manager survival where you build up a kingdom and attract migrants. And you're trying to woo another ruler of a kingdom. Uh, I will be uh, wooing this woman. Uh, it, so far it hasn't been going very well. But uh, that is basically the central mechanic of this game. That is to say, Fabledom, it's it's a little bit similar to Banished uh, in that it's there is some pure survival here. Foundation, tax, and administration. Except this game isn't really fully out of... EA yet. It's actually quite deep into early access. It's got a little bit of going medieval to it. Uh, lords and villains a little bit. Farthest frontier, that kind of thing. Extremely beautiful looking game, which is what originally first attracted me to this game. Uh, it is extremely cute. Uh, that is not bad. At times, it makes me think is there a game here? But honestly, when I was testing it out, there is quite a lot of game to be had here. Though they're also, and they are quite open about this, that it is deep in early access. So I would really watch this VOD and then take a look at the game where it is a year from now. Um, I just want to kind of qualify everything about this uh, stream. I mean, that's pretty much my thoughts about the game, long and short of it. I did receive a key, uh, thanks to the devs, uh, but I did have my eye on it, so I probably would have bought it anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, Granite Games is the dev, and is their only game listed on Steam but published by Dear Villagers and Do Yo Yo Games. A very nice aesthetic on their projects. Not really surprised it's so polished. I believe they also publish Shapes.io and Tangle Deep, were the ones that I really knew. Um, but it reminded me a little bit of Rise to Ruins. Really beautiful soundtrack. And also, it's got the. It's basically settlement building, but you've got Crusader Kings built in there and maybe a little bit of Clash of Clans. Uh, although those elements haven't really been fully developed in the game yet. So I, I don't really have a full opinion to give yet at this point. Um, not to be such a critic, but I just wish I had a little bit more. We're gonna build basically what I've got here as we play through. I'm gonna start again from anew. Um, but yeah, there's like ruler relationships like you saw before when I pulled up the chivalry screen. You can kind of like woo and befriend other rulers. You can declare war on them. Uh, but most of these things aren't in the game yet, so a little bit I'm coming up empty-handed here. But I do think that this game has a very good direction because they've already um, laying out, like, this will be available during a later time. Though I got through all of the content in the entire game as it is right now in about four hours. I'm gonna see if I can get that done even faster because I've gotten slightly more efficient, but right now it's just, um, it is a little bit bare bones, but it is a full colony management, uh, survival sim. That's not very hard right now, but I think that the emphasis is mainly supposed to be on the stuff that isn't in the game right now. Um, still, I like it, and I think it's worth showing, and honestly, I never pick anything out that I wouldn't give at least a good rating on the VOD channel, so uh, just me doing it all, I think, is somewhat of an endorsement, but also, um, yeah, I don't know. I will be watching to see what they do and then perhaps checking it out at a later date. Um, anyway, I don't think that there's really infinite replay value here. Um, not like kind of in a Songs of six sense, but sometimes those games are very gritty, and you can't really get into them. Um, extremely accessible. There are random events. Uh, and the colonists don't really have deep stories. They just have some basic needs. But that's kind of the long and short of it. We're going to set up a whole uh, colony here and just see what happens as we go. Uh, but yeah, I would invite you to explore their their little uh, blurb on how it's in early access. Because there is still quite a lot. And they're looking for community feedback. Um, it, it might come off as a little bit slow, but let's get started. Maybe I'm just slow. This is my current kingdom of uh, Ulker, but let's go back to the main menu and Yeah, we'll just start a new village. I guess uh, there is quite a lot of polish here already. There's gonna be like a very goofily voiced narrator uh, Which honestly when I see this much I guess, story in a game, I think. Oh no, they didn't really think about the game. But I'm also like, okay, it's pretty much done in a light sense. and um, I don't know, everything is very polished. But anyway, let's go to Kodur. I am a prince. I guess I'll just take what I took before. My name is AA, and I have a problem. You there we are. Picked my favorite. There we go, the goofy voiced narrator. There he goes. I, I will play the intro, because why not? We never sit through intros. Hey, what's up? It's Italics. How are you doing, brother? Have you been checking this out? Sorry, I was giving my long-winded intro. Also, Abysswalker, thank you for gifting the five subs. I'm getting, like, a little bit of an It's All Ogre Now vibe, you know? Fertile, yielding. 
birds and bees. Shrek. Uh, it's Fiona. Prince or Princess you? I'm Discover, getting this. Oh my conquer, gosh, the duality of man. Do. It occurs to me right now. But yes, so remember, friend, tis not I just sword uh, unabashedly hate lady. story in games, so I'm going to skip the rest. Uh, although the aesthetic of the game does appeal to me, so I, w I will say that. Generally speaking, things that are accessible, other people like. It uh, it says Twitch will be... <laughs> I think Twitch will be around in two years. I don't know. Somebody will watch this two years from now. Maybe there will be maybe one person watching it two years from now and just laughing at whatever result has happened. Okay, so how does Fabledom work? Let's pause time lest we devolve into danger. Um, I seem to basically enter like tutorial boy mode whenever I play. So you get rewards well, well, for oh, doing yes. basic tasks. A little bit reminds me of a like an app or now, something. I thought that was a little odd, hmm. but I don't know. Maybe there's just not really See like a developed that. sandbox right now. However, that being said, uh, what was our spawn map? So we have some forests. Uh, we have a couple of rock deposits. This doesn't look that bad. Uh, we are a little bit limited in terms of terrain. Uh, although we can't build bridges yet, so we might get a bit stuck, that is to say. Um, so we want to have a bustling village center where it will be attractive to, for people to live. So me thinks that, I mean, the material card is basically our storage at the beginning. I'm going to go ahead into my build menu, and we want to build a laborer's hut. I guess we want that to be as central as possible. And we don't want people living over here, because the forest is going to be full of noise. So I say, why don't we just put our village center right here, and we'll try to make this area dense with housing, okay? Thick with it, one might say. Um, let's put it there, builder's hut, and then we'll put in five roads. We will be putting in more than five roads. We have different, like, tiers of roads, because this game is about uh, the subjugation of peasants by rich people, which is basically every colony manager um, that I've played, except for perhaps that game that we explored last year where the, the proletariat rose up. Uh, we don't have any of this. Okay, here we go. Assign a labor. So it's kind of like worker assignment to buildings. And that is okay. Okay, it's not very complex in that aspect of it. But it is, it is enough. Okay, we're going to go ahead. I need to be very careful here because I was kind of a dingus when I first played this a couple of weeks ago. And had a lot of issues. Hmm. There we go. Throw that down. First time seeing it. Italics, when are we going to play Zomboid? When are we going to play Zomboid? I, I put off our Zomboid session. I've been putting it off. <laughs> uh, man, we got to get that in. We got to get it, that in one of these days. Me and you, I'm going to pretend it's you Ooh, as I'm wooing the, the other rulers. Homestead. Oh, this Yippee. announcer is a little this bit weird. Honestly, kind of funny. There were a few moments I was just like uh, uh, chuckling aloud. He is very well voiced. I wonder where they found this man. He should become a YouTuber. Anyway, build a well. So we're going to build a well. So I want to keep my houses close because I have to increase the desirability of this region. Um, and let's go ahead and put that there, and we'll build the houses around that. Okay, so everyone's going to live in a small, um, oppressed neighborhood. Okay. So we want to keep the lumber mills, and we want to keep the resource processing off of the, you know, like the nice area. So let's put that over here. And, well, I'm just going to, I wish that there were a way to blueprint or, like, uh, trace this out here. That would be nice. That would be a good ability. But yeah, I think I'm going to keep things... I'm going to do everything in a very boring grid, okay? How does that sound? But maybe we'll try to make it more, like, kingdomy, okay? We're going to try to do it like Foundation, where we, we actually try to make the place look nice. Wouldn't that be great if we did that for once? So we'll go ahead and do... Ah, finally. The Korishans. Here we go. Welcome the new Fablings. We do get as immigrants, as and we just have to basically keep letting everyone in. As long as there, is room, of course. there we go. Welcome, Public welcome. outhouse. So this makes the world more attractive? Let's see. Hikers and back... Oh, we could be a hiker and a backpacker, you and me, Italics. I don't know. I'll just... Uh, 
I'm gonna try to think of my dream up some RP ideas for when we get together. No, I want to space out my kingdom a little bit more here. I'm going to add in actual flowers. There is a use for these things. They will make the area more appealing. Okay, so your residents have two basic desires. They need food because they're needy. And then they also need, um, like, atmosphere, right? Um, think like Squilliam, right? So they need atmosphere and they need, uh... Mm, they need, wa well, they also need water, but water is kind of secondary. It just gets provided to the house. So we're also going to need farms. They're very needy. Um, are we able to, we aren't able to unlock territory yet, so we're going to just have to squeeze everything in into too small an area, uh, which I don't like that at all, so I'm going to just decide ahead of time where I want farms to be. I guess I'm going to use this area for wood as well, but I'm going to want some sort of food delivery out here. So let's go ahead and put... Or I could just convert this entire area into a farm. Perhaps I'll do that, because this isn't really enough woods in order to make me happy. Okay, I'm just going to destroy the entire forest, and... Wowzers, everyone's happy. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we've built a farm, we've built a farm, we've killed all the trees, great. Um, do we have any more space? Yeah, so you have, it's kind of like in, uh, what was that game that we played? Oh, what is the name of that game? Capital, Sparks of Revolution, where you have different tiers of citizens. Right now, we have only peasants, okay? But we're going to be unlocking commoners, and I haven't seen any nobles yet. I'm not sure if those are in, or if I just didn't get to them, but I ended the tutorial text when I got to that in the game. So I'm just going to assume that there's going to be two, but later on, I'm assuming that they're planning on another one. Anyway, I'm going to assign some farmers, some nice farmers. Give them a yard, homestead, things like that. Yeah, they need some basic things. They need some home... Or they can grow their own food at home. Homeschool their kids and stuff like that. Uh, get some vegetables. Get some fish. Get some bread. Although this is requiring of more processing. You know? Okay, so we're raising the desirability. We've got a well. We've got an outhouse. Um, well, let's see. We could... Perhaps we could increase the size of the yardage. Adding the homegrown food. We could add augmentations to the homes, I suppose. But also, too, then we wouldn't be able to squeeze as many people in. And I had no trouble attracting migrants the last time I played. They were just coming in like the Irish. Um, oh, my God. All my ancestors had, like, 13 kids from Ireland. And they were all Catholics, and they just couldn't stop making more people. So, for me... For me, this is what it all comes back to, and honestly, it's not a bad, uh, <laughs> not a bad analogy here. We've got the homesteads, we've got a little bit of farm, we've got a few farmers assigned. We've got a water well, I'm pretty sure they don't actually need to access that, and we could just leave that there. We've got a laborer's hut. Um, what other things do we need right now? So we don't have access to and much else. Oh, we do need forestry going on. Obviously, because that is important. They we're getting gold by taxing everyone, and military we can't really get yet because we don't have military. We're going to welcome in more visitors, more people that we can tax, but more buildings requires more upkeep. So it is a little bit of an empire management here. Okay, so if we're going with a little bit of, like, stuff over here, this won't make the houses less desirable, but we're going to put the farming area over here because I assume we're going to do houses over there. So let's do like this. That way we could maximize... Um, the number of trees that we get down without really overlapping things that are stupid. Okay, um, so we could prioritize that. They don't need roads to lead up to it. But it does help with speed. I don't think I'm going to lead a road up right here. I'm going to keep playing the game at three times speed because it is a little bit slow, if you haven't noticed. Um, but it is pleasant, that is to say. We will put another stockpile over here just because I don't know what happens when the main one gets depleted because I forgot. Um, but yeah, we'll put that right there. Okay, so we aren't getting enough wood. Well, we have 125. We should be fine on that. Um, why are you just sitting there? If there's well, one thing I like more than wooing women is taxation, particularly the kind without representation. Honestly, we'll get to the sending women money at the end of the video. This game ultimately devolves into taxing poor people in order to send the money to women that you like. Um, so I just want to kind of warn you of that. <laughs> that is that is true, HP Live Laugh. 
that was honestly one of the better TTS recommendation, uh, sound, not recommendation, sounds that I have heard. Who can top that? But thank you very much for the sub. I do appreciate it. And 12 months. Much appreciated. Debutcherer also. Thank you very much for the sub. Um, on, <laughs> This guy gets it. <laughs> okay. A confetti. Um, goodness gracious. We've we didn't why don't we read this? Goodness gracious, we've already managed to uh find enough fablings brave enough to trust us with their lively that is not the right spelling. Oh, or is it like an ironic spelling because fable wait, fable doesn't have a Y in it? No, I think that's just a Or am I just not cultured enough in order to under sometimes Y is an I? Who really knows? To call ourselves a Hamlet Going forward, you'll expect recurring payments. Okay, so we've already begun charging them for subscri subscription-based services. They won't own anything and they'll be happy. Perfect. Like the World Economic Forum, it's getting worse and worse. We're getting an inn, we're getting a stone camp, a coal miner. We're going to inebriate them until they buy a subscription. So it is technically improving well, not their lives. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that there was a stone camp here and this is going to noise pollute. Okay, so then their houses are just going to be permanently unpleasant. Okay, so we'll start there. But it's fine because we're going to do it in the back where fewer people will notice. Maybe. Probably not. But, you know, it's a little too late to go back. Here we have a granary. Provide storage for food, especially useful for winter when crops are sparse. We'll do this nearby our farms. Um, I'm thinking we're going to shoot out a uh, another road along this side, and then we will lead that into farms, which will go along up here, and then we'll have lanes that come in. Don't hyper forget lanes, to use you your will. Twitch Prime. Oh, you. Oh, you. Ass bear. Thank you very much for the sub. I do appreciate it, but you don't have to, you know. Uh, you don't have to look out for me like that. I do hope you just enjoy. But yeah, I need, I need your watch time. That is to say, I need it. <laughs> Onward with the rest of the game. Then anyway, did that get a little too real there for a minute? Twenty six plus thirty two. Hmm, thirty two coin. Taxes forty. We can get a breakdown, of, although we don't have access to you know the H and R block level of detail that we would get here. So we're going to have to stick around with just whatever we've got. Okay, so we are getting woodcutter. Uh, are we getting a woodcutter? Oh no, we never assigned a woodcutter. Whoops, a daisy. Let's go assign a few. Now we have been attracting people in because the rest of the world it just sucks. Everywhere else in the world in this universe it's awful. People are just falling off of buildings. And they hate it. Everybody hates the rest of the world. And that's the reason why they've decided to live in a cute little town where we're growing literal pumpkins as the primary source of food. All the time. All they eat is pumpkins. Day in and day out. Jesus. <sighs> okay, so we need to bring in more people so that we can tax them more. Although it costs more money to get more people. So we'll just build more homes, okay? A problem akin to what's going on in the real world right now as it happens. Um, let's see, that's a stone node. Eventually I will build more territory, but for right now I'm planning on making this into farms. I want to keep that well over a nice effective area there. I could build another house right there, but uh, maybe I'll want it for something else. Maybe I'll want a granary of some kind. So let's just keep building houses because I'm going to factorio this world. And everyone will... Uh, suffer immensely we can change the layout here but i don't think i will i think i'm just going to leave it just like that there we go i'm going to just build these all in two by twos again i had no trouble attracting in peasants the peasants were happy enough the rest this of the world stinks right. it seems you got a letter from a secret admirer odd well i suppose there's no accounting for taste just joshing. <laughs> huh. Oh, it's okay. He was just joking. He didn't actually say that I was ugly. Uh, otherwise, that would have hurt my feelings. You will let me know if Bad review on Steam. They hurt my feelings. They called me ugly. Anyway, sorry. That was a little bit of an outburst. I, I have a lot of issues. Um, so, placing three decorations from now, from here on in. Yeah, there is quite a, <laughs> it's quite a, uh, there is quite a good narrator. I, I do like that, though. It has grown on me. Although, I think, um... I'd like to see them do more lines. I, 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 I've i kind of run out because we don't have 
as much content in the early access as I like. But what has been done has been done very well, and I like it. Okay, so let's try to make their houses slightly more pleasant by just throwing more flowers in them until they suffocate in them. There we go. Three decorations. Oh my gosh. I almost don't hate everything that I look at now. Select the lumber camp to build a forest there. Um, oh, here we go. So not only can we destroy the earth, but we can also bring new life to it. We will put in a forest there. This is exactly what it sounds like. One who forests. Okay. And that person plants trees. There they go. And that's how foresters are made. Gooey, gooier guy. And uh, three name light. And hand sparks. Thanks very much for the prime. Hey, Brildane. How you doing? Alright. So, we've got some sort of seeds in there for the trees. Perhaps the Lorax in there. Okay. Finally, a woman has acknowledged me. Finally. Dearest Prince, my son in spring, such a splendid land this is. Undulating hills and wide, fertile plains. It is the dream of our ancestors. I wish to make this land into a paradise, but I cannot do it on my own. Your dashing countenance is already the talk of this. Why don't we bring back letter writing? Shall we meet? Agnes, the harvest princess. Possibly related to she has only four fingers. Wait a minute. Did anyone else see? I, this is, I'm just noticing this. Undulation? Was she undulating? Whatever she was doing, it was hot. Uh, anyway, I have decided that the entire purpose of my life is to woo her. And that's basically where this game's main plot comes out. Is I mean, we're building a colony uh, just under the... Well, we're under the guise of, like, trying to make it better. But it's really just, like, you've got a very aroused uh, uh, protagonist. Um, and he is trying to get a, a wife or a, or a husband if you play as a woman. So, But in my RP gaming context, uh, it happens to be a princess. So, yeah, basically Shrek the game. If you haven't already played Shrek 2 the game, one of the best games. Clothing line has finished construction. So they're beginning to build up the... Homesteads slightly just tolerating their lives. Happiness can uh, range from 0 to 100. Population, 16 out of 27. We do have a lot of room, so we attract in two migrants a day. I believe that even continues when we get commoners. I'm just going to continue deforestation until... Does this increase the desirability, just leaving in more trees? I don't believe it does. We do still have our taxation here. We don't have that tab unlocked. Okay, so we've got coal production now, too. So we have seasonality going on here. Um, or seasons. Whatever you would want to call it, really. But we don't have enough money. An ever-present problem in our lives, to begin with, anyway. But yes. Uh, we need money in order to get the uh, coal going for the winter so that people don't freeze to death. People can die, and they will, probably. Because more migrants will come in than we can support. Uh, with the number of pumpkins we have. I would say that's my one criticism of this in the early game, is, is, is it is a bit slow. Um, although I've also built perhaps too many houses here. Um, when are we going to have time? Okay, we got the coal maker unlocked. I'm going to put this nearby our storage boy. And I, actually, I have room for it there. Does it become slightly less pleasant where it is? I suppose it does. But we need wood from that. So, hmm. You know what? Come to think of it, let's put it near the wood cuttery. And let's leave a little bit of space between everything because we just, you know, we just might change our mind in the future. And that would be crazy. We have 50 out of 50 storage there, though. We got to get the stockpile going, though we do need the requirements. Um, man, people really aren't paying me any taxes. It's okay. Um, okay, so we've unlocked, we keep unlocking more things because it's a video game. Um, the sawmill happens, um, I feel like you've seen a lot of this formula before, but I mean, that is to say, like, a lot of what I'm gonna say here is just kind of dittoing what I said at the beginning. It's a very tight gameplay loop, I think, although, um, right now it is a little bit basic, but there's glimmerings of features that they're gonna add, so I'll just kind of go off on a tangent of what might be interesting as we get on that. Otherwise, I, uh, stick it, stick around, as it will be, stick around, you know, stuff's gonna happen. Maybe stuff we won't expect. Uh, and there are some random events. 
Okay, so the wood cutting mill is going to make life horribly unpleasant for almost everyone everywhere. Uh, we will just put this near the forest. Uh, I don't want to block the coal. I guess I'll put this one adjacent to the coal. They will need to make a lot of trips back and forth between these two buildings, though. Um, hmm. I don't want to block out the forest itself too much, but at the same time, I need these close together, so I'm going to put it directly across from it. Um, so you had the money now. Oh, missing the required attachments. whoops a daisy So I actually did this wrong. Um, stockpile. I neglected to notice that when I first did it. Let me go ahead and build it here. And let's just keep a little bit of space between these things, and then we will build one, two, three pallets. And there we go. So we've got some kind of stockpile going. Okay, good. Hey, Corin Aaron, thank you very much for the five gift subs. I do appreciate that, Corin. Thank you very much. You've been very generous, Corin. Um, okay, so we've got nobility. Currency for special actions and items. Uh, you do get random events that come up, like a bunch of poor people come up and uh, just ask for things. And then sometimes you can use your uh, your exposure to help them, right? All right, so um, Messengers Guild right here. We've got 100 gold for that. And this is going to open up most of the rest of the game world. So we've been playing Normal Boy Colony Manager right now. We were restoring things. Uh, there is fighting in this game, but it, like, it, it's, it's not there right now, at least as far as I've seen. Um... It will be really interesting to see what comes up because it seems very cool. The one thing I didn't unlock from before was walls, so I might just stand corrected horribly at the beginning of this. But yeah, I didn't see it in the main gameplay loop, so we're still waiting on that, I suppose. Um, uh, again, take it with a grain of salt. I'm, or I might just be an idiot, but yeah, I could not find it myself. Um, okay, messenger really has no other requirements here, so I'm just going to put this way out of the way. Uh. And then we're going to send someone to basically be the village idiot and go to other places for us and tell them things. Uh, we do want to get access to that stone camp, though. And have we assigned it? Oh, no, we have not assigned a stone person yet. Okay. A golem, if you will. There we are. Okay, we have assigned the stoned... I mean stone people, not stoned people. These two women will labor at the stone until they can no longer work. You can run out of stone, though. Uh, and that is quite a terrifying prospect to be thinking about. See what I did there? Prospect. Stone. Okay, so we have a random event. Oh my gosh, wow. How exciting. Prince AA. Farmers have reported issues with swarms of red wing. Now, this is an event I haven't had. Red-winged fairies spreading in their crops. They worry that if we do not address the issue at risk, we will risk losing some valuable food sources. Okay, so basically... Lose 25% of your crops. I mean, that's essentially what that is. Or spend 75 coins. Um, food isn't as much of an issue as gold is early game. Uh, so I'm just going to allow everything to die. It's okay, everything can die. It's only a 25% chance, right? Did we lose 25%? Did that happen immediately? Oh, we will come into the winter. We're currently in fall. If you haven't noticed, the seasons have been changing very subtly, but winter comes on very suddenly, if you will. Okay, so we've got to be producing 15 coal in the coal maker, so we're going to have to assign somebody to the coal maker. I sometimes forget to do this. Uh, but yes, as we build every single building, we're just going to go back to each one. Let's make sure we got somebody assigned to the sawmill. Um, and more people keep coming in because, again, the rest of the world is a horrible place. And if this is the best, I mean, if this is growing, it must suck out there. Here we go. Coal maker tree. Uh, I am going to build a second, yes, that's true, a second coal maker right from the start because I find that people tend to freeze to death when we get a little bit further into the winter. And yeah, that's bad. Generally speaking, you don't want that to happen. So we'll do this uh, for now. I think I could put it here and then I could line the rest of the area with decorations. Could I do that? No, maybe I'll just put it there. And I'll build a path once I've decided all the buildings here. Okay, then we need to store 15 vegetables in a granary. Kind of basic starter quests here. I'm okay with that. 
as advanced as I am. Okay, good. I've been gifted 35 cold. This did happen to me the last time, so I believe this is a scripted event. Um, Secret Senator, what a childish game it blo is below me in my stature. Unfortunately for you, I wasn't given any instructions to enjoy this. Okay, so a mysterious impersonator of a saint has gifted us coal. All right. Um, very well. They're bringing that to... Are they? Oh, they are bringing it directly to their houses. So I guess we're just living in like a, some sort of sharing economy. These games that are this cute, they make me think that there's something more political and sinister at play, you know, behind the curtain. Generally speaking, that's the sort of, like, proxy war that's being fought in my head. None of that made any sense. Alright, um, anyway, it's winter. Great segue. And we're cutting down the forest because uh, we hate it. Um, in the area outside of town, they will also cut. That was kind of curious to me. Although we should be unlocking more territory soon. Okay, and another thing that is quite useful for worker management is that we can just assign everything from here, and it will tell you if places are unassigned. Um, close, locate, select. You could see that. Okay, we'll just keep welcoming in visitors. We do need to, or we want to, um, welcome in visitors as much as possible here. Upkeep minus 33. That's per building and stuff like that. Each building has some amount of upkeep. So sawmill, more advanced. Ooh, planks. M more expensive, you know. Family aid. I guess they were probably getting out of the United States. Good for them. They made it out. Peasant. Uh, but some people are not happy with their lives. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Let's zoom in on a col colonist. Uh, they do have... Like, basic information. But nothing crazy. I'm really excited about... Oh, they do have thoughts. I didn't even notice that. Um, although their two needs are just desirability and... Ooh. Oh, we got more secret Santa gifts. Okay, cool. I'll take vegetables. Yes, thank you. Ah, uh, nice. Good. And then everyone will just take them because they're greedy. Have Did we been storing the stuff? That they never put on winter clothing. <laughs> that is true. Reckless. Wait, wait a minute. Is that a feature that they're going to add to the game? Yeah, I wonder if they'll add more systems. Anyway, that is to say, narrator, who is speaking so on topic. Happiness uh, is determined entirely by how much they like their house, which I personally disagree with. You know, I think that you should live in the moment. I think you should just recognize every moment is a miracle. But that is to say that, um, yeah, they're, like this is basically peasants who hate themselves, I suppose. <laughs> we'll put the well along here. Can I buy more territory yet? Oh, no, I can't do it. Ah, uh, how impotent and small I feel. I will put that there, then. Active missions, we don't have that. But look, we've unlocked the world. Oh, and we're getting a raid from rocks. Hey, thank you very much for the raid. I hope you guys had a good stream. Thank you for sending your folks over here. What were you guys playing? Yes, the inn and the theater. Oh, did we build an inn, or did we forget to build an inn? I think we forgot to build an inn. Thank you for the reminder. I was so busy worrying about other people that I forgot about myself. I mean, uh, the opposite of that. Um, okay, so the inn itself. Uh, I hope that this is in range. The inn doesn't really have too much else to it. It may need to be supplied with... I can't remember, honestly. I think it needs to be supplied with... There is no alcohol in the game, but there is food. I think. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I don't remember any... It, you'd think that there would be, like, brewing of some type, right? Assign a Fabling to the workplace using the overview menu. Uh, Fabling to use the over... Okay, yes, so I forgot to do this. So we are using the overview menu. This is just another tutorial thing, although I believe we kind of have to do it. So we're going to assign people to the stockpile. I don't believe they have any kind of specialization. Might be interesting if they had some kind of specialization. You know, you put the uh, alcoholics working at the, um, the bar and the... Uh, the uh, beat people uh, who at the farm. Guys, I ate some beets the other day and nothing is the same on the way out. Purchase a new territory. Okay, good. Expanding, finally. Uh, the area that I wanted to expand toward was the left side, uh, which we have some flying pigs, which are just basically regular pigs. I don't know why they have wings. Um, it's nice, though. 
And then there's also another small stone deposit, but it'll be a while before we're done with this one. How are we doing on that, ladies? They've taken out 35. Though it's pretty cheap when we want to do it here. It's only 100. Uh, we do have fish as well, although I haven't gotten any fish yet, so we'll just leave that. Okay, so we're going to purchase some territory, and we do get to claim. We get a nice ramp with the gold here. Okay, so we got that in. Uh, welcome to out of two visitors. We built the inn. Did we build it yet? Okay, so we got to give them a little bit more time to build it. Um, stone gathered via stone camp. I guess uh, maybe I should have done the other stone camp. But the one nice thing is that you can look around the entire environment here. Much like foundation. So you can kind of scout out what area you might want to, you know, build toward. Um, and you unlock better quarries later on in the game. Which, wow, a thousand stone. That's way better than what do we have... Only 500 there. Although the 1,000 looks like more than a 1,000 if that's 500. But very well. Very well. Um, anyway, the main thing that we want to make sure too is that we're gathering up enough generalized resources. The thing that I think is tricky here is just seeing where I want to put things in the overall map. Like this very nice sized forest over here. That was a good place for a forest there. We didn't want to build houses. This area was open, so it was good for housing. We kind of want to keep that in a tight radius. And then farms along the outside. I'm going to build farms along up here. So then where should I build my next wood uh, place? And where should I build the next stone quarry? Well, I guess if we're going to have to put one here, we might as well put another... How far does this thing range? Okay, that goes there. So we could start to harvest these trees along the outskirts here. And then we will noise pollute some of these houses. It won't be very desirable down here, but we don't have much of an option because, oh, well, what else would I do? Um, well, what else would I do? I could go here, but that's kind of far out, and it's not really worth it. Far out, man. <laughs> Groovy. Wow. Um, sorry. So funny. Uh... I'll put it there, I think, because that'll gather. That'll be enough for now, and it'll clear out the rest of the lands. And then we'll wait on the houses. Huzzah! Brass trumpets. Um, honestly, some of the assets are, or maybe it's the sound effects that are reminding me of Clash of Clans, along with the overall theme. Oh my gosh! Just when you thought that we were done with the game, there's more. Yes, beets are very dangerous. I wouldn't recommend eating them without reading about what happens uh, uh, when you excrete them. Honestly, it was a very trying and difficult week for me. So, let's talk about farming. Um, we've got 30 people here now. We built this farm and we had only, what, 15? But we have so much money now. Oh my gosh. So, let's put another farm right here next to Mr. Inn. And then we'll put... Uh, we can't really brew anything, so we'll just put more pumpkins in there. Although we will build... A wheat farm sooner or later. Although the well, kind of a waste, but at the same time, where else am I going to put everything? Ah, the trusted village kid. Yes. Oh, yeah, see, no alcohol. Just anyway, vegetables, bread, and fish. Happiness to its surroundings. Claim, claim, the claim. The happier your kingdom is, the more newcomers it will attract. Okay, so... Yeah, basically, we're trying to attract in as much immigration as possible. Just an unsustainable amount of immigration. Just open everything and let everyone in. And Oh, man, I hope... Well, most of them will starve is really the truth at the end of the day. Almost everyone here will probably starve. Um, we don't have enough... Oh, wait, where is my messenger? Oh, messenger's guild. There we go. Okay, so we need to send out a messenger to another realm using the newly unlocked world map. So just when you thought that it was done... Um, there is more. There is more. Uh, we can pay... Yeah, I'll take more peasants. The faster you get peasants, the better. Uh, I will go to the world map now. So we've been living in the fetching world of Kudor. Uh, but we're gonna go to... Uh, offer us. And we'll delegate. So we need to send them money. Well, it looks like because that's what that means. Will arrive soon, but there's no available housing. Oh, no. What will we do? until the next arrival all right over the population icon at the top of your screen okay so yes you can hover over population and it w does it also tell you it also does tell you when you reach the next phase which is when you unlock more buildings so we got to get to big village 
a lot of it is a little bit, um, right now, the one thing that I would say is, uh, until I can do a little bit more on the overmap, it does feel a little bit like, and I think that, uh, in early access, this is fine. I mean, I the find the game extremely satisfying. Oh, thank you. Ah, Metal Bearer 64, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, no, I'm like, uh... Like, without any external kind of pressure or motivation, it is chill, it is relaxing. Uh, although I, I would like to see those features developed a little bit more before I'm ready to, like, dig in with the gaming, you know? Um, but yeah, like, uh, right now it is just a little bit like we're going through the motions. I do feel that way. It's very nice, but it is going through the motions, um, to a certain extent, I, in my opinion. Okay, we can attract in more. The visitors will leave in three days. I don't actually know if it sets up the next one, so let's just accept these people. Uh, and keep building... Keep building more houses, just until we have too many of them again. Okay, I found personally that peasants are the only ones who do useful tasks. The commoners basically just totally useless. They basically take the things that the peasants make. So I would be willing to go in with maybe like less than 10% or 10% commoners or so because they just aren't that useful. They're probably more useful than the nobles perhaps because um, they certainly don't... Well, I, who am I to say? I haven't met them yet. Um, but once the messengers arrive, greet the ruler in the discovered room. So it does give you a nice little timing thing on it. So you have one day remaining right now. Um, but we don't really have a day-night cycle, we just have seasons appearing. I've become quite the connoisseur of EA games. Uh, early... I guess both, really. Early access and electronic. Because of all the EA videos. Yeah, I like, I like exploring games in early access because... Oh, I don't know, I mean, maybe it's just that all the stuff that I'm interested in now seems to be early access. Um, I, I, I like the idea of it. I think it's a good concept. Um, trying to think of what were the first, there, there was Steam Greenlight before that. Yeah, I think that this one, I, I, I keep kind of harping on that a lot because I, I find that this one is still very much, like, although it looks so finished, I thought it was really finished, but there is still quite a lot missing from the game. Um, I don't know if I went into that, like, fishing. Like, we have buildings that ask for fish, but there's no fishing yet. Um, so, you know, but they are also openly acknowledging that, so I'm saying that. Uh, this isn't a game review. This is just sort of like a where it's at right now. Um, hmm, other stuff. Have we assigned people to every single thing? Just want to make sure we do that. Okay, so we have, we're basically, we're trying to get into the friend zone, and then once we get into the friend zone... Uh, we could, we don't have enough grain because we need more things because she doesn't want to be our friend because we don't have enough. Um, here we go. We're just de deforesting the land horribly to make women like us more. Uh, so honestly a bit of an allegory here, uh, for real life. So we're going to keep just surrounding the houses with farms just to remind the peasants that, uh, basically, uh, my, uh, my marital life, my wooing of women royally is more important than their happiness and <laughs> basically uh i think that's like the lore here but isn't it nice doesn't it look good at least although we're doing something you know maybe morally questionable who are we to say who are we to say muddy buddy mudkip that's a nice name thanks very much for the prime and dick pots thank you very much for the seven months Maybe too real, maybe too real. Unless, unless, of course, if you play as the princess and you send the money to men, in which case there's also probably something horrible and manipulative going on. I don't know, I mean, I, I don't... Oh my god, look at it. I'm just destroying all of the land for love. How cute Whatever are those it is. pigs? Oh, I didn't I know that you end that. Up getting eaten. I didn't trigger that. Perhaps there will be more Easter eggs in the finished product. Now, what is surrounding the land? Is that just a cloud, or are we to think that the rest of the world has been eaten up by pink gas? Maybe the rest of the world has been poisoned after, I don't know, global warming or something like that. I always love trying to invent a deep lore for these types of games. 
Do things attack us? Not yet. So again, um, I wish I could say. Yeah, I'll just I'll just repeat that one more time. Yeah, where it is where it's at in early access, and they've also written this out in their early access statement. Like, feel free to just look at the game and keep watching to see if you like it over the next year. So like, I, I think I think it's nice that devs openly admit that. Um, like. We want to hear what you want to see in the game. So, if you do have any input, I think I do think they have a Discord server where you can throw it in. But that is to say, um, one of the reasons I picked out this game uh, is just I, I think it has the aesthetic of what. Well, a lot of I know a lot of people have been doing this kind of aesthetic in games. I think it's a very good aesthetic though, and I like it. I'm gonna wait on this because we could make our citizens happier. We don't really need it though, and I think we need the money more, so I'm not going to do that. Let's start assigning some farmers. Okay, great. Um, hmm. wait a minute. Uh, how come I can't... Two out of two? Oh, we don't have enough capacity yet. Well, they should finish building this in a couple moments. Hang on a second. Let's just wait a moment and see if uh, see if they manage to finish this off. Um, building priorities, building priorities. What other stuff? Do we have enough jobs assigned? I found that I got a little bit behind myself in this. Workers, workers, workers. I didn't put everyone into the lumber camp. We will assign them there because they finished off the lumber camp. They're a little bit slow at this, but you can start to build more builders' huts. Get to get them uh, down to business on everything. Good, so now we're cutting down more trees. I found that wood was the resource that was very limiting the last time. Ever played Kingdom 2 Crowns? Uh, no, but I want to, and we played that Viking game. What was the Viking game that was like Kingdom? Uh, we literally just played it. Lords of Val- was it Lords of Valhalla, I want to say? More of a, kind of a 2D tower defense campaign type of deal I suppose although I, I suppose that this might have some things in common with that once it's finished that is to say speed up time again I would like it if the time speed up went a little bit faster as well I'm just gonna welk somebody in because well welk you in welcome you in because uh it is bad I don't think I'm going to do this right now I think I'm just going to keep putting this off we don't really need a party we need people to feed to the machine. That is the desire of a woman. Send a message with the gift to the another ruler. Okay, this is great. So we can make this woman like us even more. Um, uh, oh no, she needs food now. I am to feed her? Hang on a moment. All right, we need to get this woman some food right now. She's hungry. Uh, I will prioritize the construction of this to woo this woman. Look at how I swoop among them. How he did swoop. Placing grain at my doorstep and money. Guys, if you can't get, if you can't get a woman to respond to you, leaving bullion and wheat at her doorstep may be an alternate plan oft less spoken of in 2023. I'm generally speaking not a dating advice channel, but that being said, if this goes well, maybe it'll be a new niche for this channel. Facts. Facts. Bullion. Wheat. These are the things that chicks desire. Um, we can't have people anymore because everyone is suffering. All right, that being said, we are now mired in wealth. Now that we've made a lot of money, it's time to find a woman. Uh, sorry. I think that this is very funny as a, as a game concept. <laughs> Learn to cook. Uh, I don't know. Oh, well, we will be doing some cooking. I'm thinking about what... Uh, I know that they are, like, pre-scripted, so I know we're going to get that. Uh, although there is another man... It is not entirely a, a heterosexual game either. You know, you could be a, a prince wooing another prince or a princess wooing another princess or whatever a highness is. Prison visitors will leave in two days. Oh no, okay. We have to finish this housing really fast. Otherwise the economy will crash. There we go. 
good. So we have now more people than we can possibly fit. Great, and the well is covering more things. I'd say I did a pretty good job. The last time I had to keep building all of these unnecessary wells. I don't really know what a highness is. I guess I should have played as one. Although, you know me. I like to know what to expect what's coming. I don't like it when things sneak up on me throughout the playthrough. Um, the other thing, too, is that we've got these resources here, but new things will come come about. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if... Did we open up the... We have two days remaining on you. Uh, you want wheat. What do women want? They want wheat. They just don't tell you. You have to just know it. Hm. There we go. She desires wheat. Get into the fields and start picking everyone. All right. Uh, can we get some more... Okay, so we got the 40 out of 40. Every farm has a limit of 40 squares. This happens to be a very inefficient farm because they have to go all the way over here in order to get the wheat. But whatever it takes for the ladies. Um, we have met Giovanni. He doesn't really look like a Giovanni. He looks more like a Melvin, maybe. But let's go ahead and greet him with 50 coins. Okay, so he is ecstatic. He is vibrating with... It. Look at how many rings he's got on. Okay, we're going to send him more money because we need friends. Okay. So we're going to deliver him a gift. Okay, Giovanni. These are actually the same NPCs. I do believe there are eight rulers, so I guess these are going to be unique NPCs. It remains to be seen whether they have stories that will be more fleshed out. Although uh, there is spying and declaring of war, so this is kind of like a Crusader Kings 3 mechanic. Uh, honestly, I think that this is a very cool idea for a mechanic, and this seems to be something that could be fleshed out a lot more. Um, I like it. Uh, although there are more options, some of them that are just kind of like cute. I'm flirting with uh, Giovanni. I could do that. Look, just intense hearts. There we go. Arising from her lower region. Um, we. No one really knows. No one. No one really knows how far we're going to go with this. Whether we're going to get all the way to CK3 territory. Will we create our own religion? What will happen? I think it would be funny if it were added in. But then again, most of the games that I enjoy involve some sort of horrible thing at the end. Okay, I personally love this, the look of waving... Well, waves of wheat in the distance. And so this gives me great satisfaction. I don't know what, what, but like they did a fantastic job with every single animation in this game. Every single asset looks beautiful. And I just kind of want to take a moment because, you know, sometimes I just dismiss things as cute. This game looks ridiculously good. Look at that flowing through the wheat. I will say that my, I think my computer is purring a little bit more than usual and I have a pretty decently good graphics card. Um, so I don't, know how shaders work i don't know if that's something that needs to be optimized more or what but yeah i mean it is pretty looking and it's not like it's going to take off either okay so i have surprised giovanni with money not only well it, this is to be his friend i could begin courting him i think i'm gonna go after oh i need to enter the friend zone now though she does she desires wheat do we have the wheat that she needs? We could do that. Why don't we just court Giovanni this time? Yeah, we'll just court Giovanni. I wonder if it'll even allow me to. I'm pretty sure I said I desired a princess, but let's find out. Are you sure you want to start courting him? Yes, I'm going to court Giovanni this time instead. Let's just see what changes. Is it the same kind of game? All right. I'm courting Giovanni now. Don't pursue women, pursue men. I guess. What, what, what are we... What are we... What is the dating strategy here? I'm trying to get her to be jealous. I don't even know. I said I said I wanted to desire a princess at the beginning. I didn't think it would even give me that option. Okay, I guess you can just change your preference through the middle of the game. Interesting, interesting mechanic. Chat, make of it what you will. I'm deciding what to do with my life. 
Okay, we're going to... Times have been hard. We tried our best to put food on the table, but we're out of options. We heard of a good heart of your good heart and decided to exploit you and swallow our pride and come here to beg you help us, please. Okay, so I will lose some nobility if I decline this. Although vegetables are required for the winter. Though I think I've done a better job stockpiling. Yes, she wasn't gluten-free. That's why I, I, I didn't pursue her, you know? Rook region. Ah, thank you very much for ordering the AA plush. I think they came out really good. I hope you, I hope you, I hope you're satisfied with it. Um, we actually have a surprise one for the next year. Um, I really like the next one too. Like they did possibly an even, like whoever is the designer at Makeship is such a genius. Um, they did a really good job with very minimal instructions that I sent them. I was so on the fence about those things. I was just like, oh, I don't want to just make useless merch that'll go into a landfill. Though their company works really, like the, their quality is really high. And I hope it doesn't change because they're super cool. Um, and they're very personal with creators, that is to say. Um, and yeah, I don't know. But thank you for, that's very nice of you. Okay, how's it going? We got five more days until we get across this uh, continent. We have to pass through Mordor. To send money to Giovanni. Honestly, this could be like a future strategy in courting, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know really the full implementation, but let's go through with it. Let's find out what happens. Uh, we do need a forester right here, I'm just remembering. Let's go ahead and put one of those down there. I can't believe that I forgot that. How embarrassing. But that's the reason why we've been getting deforested over here. And, like, forests over here have maintained themselves. Um, I think it's about time, too, that we could start to think about some potential roads. I like that you don't need roads. That's very nice. Like, where it makes it slightly faster. I do believe it does make their movement faster. So we'll do this. And then this. And then perhaps this. Although the music I find, like, somewhat melancholic and forlorn. Chapter 3, The First Date. So, the game is kind of based on, like, the dating cycle. Okay, we've got 75, 175 coins, stonemasonry, bakery, street theater. Oh, this is totally new. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When I was dating the girl, she just wanted flowers. She wanted a lot of flowers, like a potentially questionable, like I'm going to call off the relationship amount of flowers. I would not have dated. Can I stop courting him? I don't like the things he's asking for now. He's got like some sort of gambling addiction, 500 coins. I could cancel courting him and then could I court her instead? Though she needs all that wheat and then she'll need flowers. I have the wheat that she needs now, though. Okay, I don't have 500 coins, but what is the dice table, though? I have not even explored this. This looks interesting, though. Okay, although I am courting a man who desires money, and I would not recommend that to anyone under normal circumstances. I have not done this yet. I am slightly nervous. Okay. Eight or higher to double your wager of 50 coins. This could go horribly awry. I will play maybe one round. The statistical likelihood of this is very low. Or, I mean, it's it's about 50-50. Win 500 coin at the di dice table. Okay, we're basically just... We have an expected value of not gaining everything. So I guess we're just waiting until we get lucky here. I will wager... How much coinage do I have? Let's just start with 50. Roll dice. I lost 50 coins. Oh, Jesus. I hate myself. Okay, let's put on 100. Now, this is going to be lucky. I lost another 100 coins. Oh, God, I hate that. Okay, does it need to... I just need to... <laughs> once, right? Please, God, let something work out. The statistical odds of this are so low. Oh, my God, I hate this. These are rigged! I lost every single one! Isn't seven the expected value? That, that's so unlikely. This is why I told you. I know, I gotta walk away. Anyway, I'm gonna stop courting that man 
and I'm going to go after the woman because he desires that I give everything up. He's going to start asking me for pounds of flesh and things like that. No more of this. Okay, I'm going to enter the friend zone. Wish me luck. It, spring is coming. I'm entering the friend zone, everyone. Jeez Louise. I hate this. That was the worst thing that... Honestly, courting a man is way harder than courting a woman. Women just want wheat and flowers. What is... I don't find this realistic... Realistic gameplay. <laughs> Though that is kind of funny. I did not expect there to be another thing. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can figure out this wheat situation for the ladies. We have been given a sympathy gift of 250 vegetables because we lost all of our money playing dice for a, a courting a man. So now I've decided to go after the woman because I think that might be easier. Um, we're still trying to enter the friend zone, but I think we will get there, like this year. Let's try to assign one more villager onto that. Good. Keep planting wheat for this woman. So what other kinds of things should we be doing in the meantime, you might ask? Well, we need to get our stone and our wood production very, very solid. Um, they keep telling me I have to do this, so I'm just going to do it right now. Um, yes, our hero will be there. Um, I don't know if this actually works. This looked like one of the cooler mechanics in the game. So, they call us the Explorer's Club. There's so much to discover out there. Wonderful secrets and hidden treasures. We could use some uh, help to explore. Uh, we need help with the hero. This, pay attention here. The Fabling Explorer's Club. We have a deadline of 30 days and a reward of 5 nobility. And if we fail, lose 5. Not really much at stake. Although, I couldn't personally figure out where to do this encounter. Um, if anyone can help me, I looked all over the, uh, all over it when I was playing it on my, but I just, for the life of me, I could not figure out how to get this thing to work. Um, so I come to you seeking help. Anyway, I do have planks. She's not asking for planks. I'm allowed to keep those. Oh, so here we go. Specimen. We have just spawned hero in. has arrived. The hero is your kingdom's strongest fighter. Gimli, basically. With secrets in the realm, yeah, so we have a fighter now. So this is where the military comes in in the oh game. God. Honestly, does kind of remind me of a more. Clash of Clans sort of thing, which I think is kind of cool. I'm, I, I really like Clash of Clans as a game. I know it's like a mobile app. I know that there's a lot of microtransactions and everything like that, and some people like hate that. I think it's a really solid game as it is. It's very addicting and it's very fun. Um, so I think it's kind of cool that they're implementing this type of thing in this game. Um, like, just that kind of RPG feel, but in a fantasy sense. And then he can be equipped with certain items and stuff like that. I'm just, I don't know, I think it's kind of neat. Because it combines colony management stuff, but also just... I mean, it's objectively satisfying. I, I like it. It's fun. It feels like building something up. Um, yeah, like a fantasy RPG a little bit. But he... I mean, it says inspect an encounter with my hero, and I... Okay, so I stand corrected. I couldn't find an encounter before, but it, apparently it is these things that are hidden around the map, because I was not examining the map enough. I thought it was something out in the rest of the world where we had to go find another ruler or something like that, but that is false, it seems. Um, we are going to try to send our hero over to one of these encounters, though it is very expensive. It becomes increasingly expensive to buy more and more territory. I'm gonna see if he can somehow scale this spot. I don't know if that's possible right now, but if not there, then we'll go over here. Can I do it? Yeah, I mean, I'd buy that to get over there anyway. Sort of. Oh, it sh I should be able to get over there, though, but yeah, it's 200, so that is all the money that I just lost, so never mind. We won't be able to get this done in this amount of time, but we'll get it done at some point, because it is another thing to explore in the game. And I was sad that I didn't know how to use my hero, so... Cool, we'll have something to do with him. Um, what else is there to explore? Oh, I need to go befriend a woman again. Okay, so I'm just waiting on wheat and money. Uh, tell me about it. Man, it feels like I'm doing that in my own life all the time already. There we go. You have the wheat. And also, are you carrying that... Is that wheat that you're carrying? Okay, so she's carrying wheat all the way down here. And all the way back over to... The granary. Okay, so we were going to want to put the granary a little bit closer. Because right now that is way too big a trip. It is good to get a little bit of the efficiency down. I thought that she was storing that just in the farm itself. But I stand corrected. Um, we could go 
Well, we don't want them to walk very far. They've got a uh, ways to go there. I should have just left a little bit more space out there. I guess we could go here for right now. Put another granary in there. Okay, cool. So they don't have to walk quite as far in order to get that done. Uh, in the meantime, we let's go send that woman some wheat. Take it. You're honestly easier to please than the other guy who keeps telling me to gamble away all of my money. Because I don't love him enough. In the meantime, let's go ahead and continue building our realm. Um... Hmm. I think I will just make this a... Th no, I'll leave some room in case if I want to put another well or something. Let's keep building a couple more houses in here. I want to keep this area kind of tight and, like, concentrated. We'll build that. 51. Yeah, we can't really get more territory we, because we need to get more people who will allow us to get more territory because then they're going to pay us taxes. So, ultimately, right now, it seems kind of counterintuitive, but yeah, it'll be worth it in the end. So, let's just keep building more. Um... Keep staving off the inevitable. Yeah. It does. It kind of like, it tickles the same the same things that Crusader Kings tickles with a colony manager at the same time. So I, I hope that that does give you a slight, and like a little bit of clash of clans built in there too. Maybe these are kind of weird analogies, but I think it's, it's nice that you get kind of a range. Because so many of these colony builder games, and this is the reason why I, I would give this game a chance. Is because so many of these colony builder games just seem very set on survival without really adding a new mechanic. And th this adds in two new distinctive mechanics at the very least. So that's why I think it's very cool and I think it's worth checking out here. Um, but that's just my own personal opinion. Now can, uh, just for the future reference, can I walk you? Oh no, I can't actually walk you. Can I walk you over there? Let's find out where you're capable of walking. Can you get onto that? He can indeed. He can't. It's unfortunate that he can't venture beyond our, you know, property here. Because, like, why do I need to keep buying things? But whatever. Yay, verily. Good enough. Okay, so we have made it out of... We are out of the friends. That we could just start p complimenting her. Maybe we'll do that instead of sending her all of our food. Because our people are going to start to starve soon and that won't be very good we'll leave our hero right there stay there sir um okay cool now we can get more people and i think we have enough farms for them and then we'll start to expand our village um is there anything i haven't built yet we haven't built a street theater that's going to give them more desirability about the neighborhoods but yeah i mean i'm not gonna lie there is a considerable of like amount of Kind of waiting around right here to be had. Um, I, I think it's enjoyable, but yeah, like, um, maybe if I were smarter, I wouldn't be waiting around so much. Yeah, I guess that's all there is to say. Um, it seems to me, though, that in, like, the finished product of the game, you're going to have more world questing that will kind of keep you occupied while your village is, like, expanding. Um, and there are also these events, too, of course. Um, quest of Fresh Bread. Food lovers club when you don't have... Quite frankly, we don't find her outrageous. Uh, we won't be able to get bread, I'm pretty sure. I think I have to just decline this one. But I'm going to get lose five nobility anyway, so we might as well just take it. I don't see why not. Just producing bread. We literally... Oh, no, we just need more money again. Okay, I have to save up some money. I'm just going to wait until I've saved more money. We have accessed this lady's heart with grain. The secret to love. Bread. Love, love, love. Wave, wave, wave. She is fanning herself because of how hot it is that we are... I really should start a dating profile. That I think that would be the best, like, segue for my content in the future. AA starts a literal amphibian dating profile. That would not go very well. Um... Let's continue with the gaming. We have 165 gold. We are courting a woman. Uh, have we exited the friends? Patient, patiently awaiting your courtier. Uh, so yeah, we have to keep sending people to her. We've never actually met this woman. We just could be getting horribly catfished. We don't really know. Uh, but we are going to make more money. I think we've got everything pretty sustainable now. But all these kind of random quests give us a little bit more nobility, a little bit more prestige. One of the more interesting random events that might pop up, though, is when all of your villagers turn into skeletons. 
Uh, and let's find out if this can... And that basically depletes their hunger or happiness. Let's find out if we can do this with this hero now. Oh, yes! Yes, he can go up there. Explore, my boy. Oh, he just popped in while searching through the ruins. The hero finds many relics from the past underwear, perhaps worn by a great wizard. Or how about the floral teapot, surely used to brew ancient potions. On the second hand, perhaps they are just regular items. These schematics look useful, though. Ancient stone guardian, a massive statue. Oh, that's very cool. I guess this improves the desirability. Okay, so kind of necessitating less, um, like building of desirable stuff at home then, I suppose. Uh, do we actually get the statue itself or do we still need to pay for it? We still need to pay for it, it seems. Uh, that would be nice if we got it as a gift. Because, I mean... I don't know. Um, I was hoping he, he has kind of a goofy sound. Oh, here we go. Just what I said. Pra practically right on cue. Oof. Ooh. Young love, how wonderfully naive. We're being messaged by the witch. Would you get to experience happiness when I could not? I tired of seeing of your passion and optimism. Let me see how your fablings deal with this little surprise. Okay, so she's going to turn our fablings into skeletons, which I will slow down time for briefly. Um, doesn't really make a huge difference. They get slightly less happy. Sometimes it doubles their rate of hunger. Ah, uh, where did my body go? I mean, they'll turn back soon enough. But it is kind of a nice visual effect. This is the only random event I've seen so far. I think that this is... I personally think this is a very cool thing, and I think they should add more of these to the game. Although, perhaps adding in some type of player choice. Well, we kind of got it with some of the things, like, do you keep the beggars or leave them? I guess that's purely a bad event. Anyway, then it plays this very Halloween-y music, which I think is right on cue. Spooky, scary skeletons. Hmm... Uh, we have... Now, now everyone is a skeleton, even in their assignments. They do even have skeleton sprites. Okay, we're back to chapter three for another first date. More like the second first date. Okay, so now we need to send this woman... She really is very particular about things, in my opinion. Um, she needs a hundred tulips. Honestly, that's kind of a red flag, in my opinion. The man wanted us to gamble. The woman wanted us to get a hundred tulips. Now we've seen it both ways, except we haven't done highness. It will finally meet someone who doesn't want anything from us. Um, but we're going to build a flower farm, all just because uh, maybe it'll make us like us more. Um, I think I'm going to leave room for the pigs for perhaps later on. There is that room. Um, flower farm, flower farm. Not really a relevant structure, not really helpful in any way. I'm just going to put it on the edge of the colony, yeah. Um, we can build bridges later on, but I just want to make sure that they're able to scale this. You know what? If I build a house, I could always destroy part of this farm. If I build a house up here, are you guys able to get to it? This is going to be kind of a throwaway house. Maybe someone will live here. Let me just see. I want to see how good the fablings are at scaling this cliff. So far, I have not here two fourth observed this behavior. It looks as though they are indeed making attempts to get up the mountain, despite the fact that there is no road. The determination of this little person is unbelievable. Ten. Okay. So I'm not I'm just gonna leave someone's house up there. Oh my god. She's acknowledging me. My morning dew. Thank you for the wonderful gift. It makes caring prince takes a caring prince I don't know why you capitalized it. Honestly, another red flag. Your grammar is off. Bad grammar, I'm just saying. To nurture such wonderful produce, I admire that. All right. Personally, I would just drop it. I would keep building my, my farm. I wouldn't pursue this. However, that being said, this is a video game, guys, and I'm going to go with it. All right. I'm going to build a farm for this woman. I know that seems like a lot. There are better, probably, investments with my money. But that being said, I if if it's true love, it's true love. Um, let's go ahead and build build this woman a, f a flower. Love me, please. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, three hundred dollars. All right. Well, whatever. Can't put a price on it, I guess. 
hundred tulips would not woo me. In fact, I saw them wilt and die. I mean, I, I was like, I was trying to play Jean Valjean, send her bread, you know? I earn the bread. I take home the bread. Oh, whatever. Um, it'd be problematic at best if I were to pursue this relationship. Now, um, you can get a little bit of the way through the courting through this, although I couldn't figure out how to get the hero thing to work, and now I did, so that is somewhat useful. I couldn't unlock that thing before. There may be a little bit more to it than I've been able to figure out, but... Um, yeah, we won't really be able to get so deep into the courting, but we'll be able to slightly woo her. So we'll go there. Wow, we've actually been extremely successful for practically no time at all. I, I really struggled through this the last time, I think because my village was horribly inefficient and I built everything. Um, there is also desirability going on here. Can we see the desirability visibly? Or do we have, uh, let's look at our overview. Overview map. Finances, history log, population. Oh, we don't really have that. Though, do we have everyone assigned to everything? We do have all our workers assigned. That's good. Finances looking good and green. Looking good and green. I don't... I mean, we aren't really getting any issues with desirability, though. We've kept most of the peasants away from the logs, and they continue to pile in unsustainably reproducing like rabbits. Well, not really even reproducing... Just immigrating. I could make bread. It really, it's all about whatever she might potentially want in the future. You know? Alright, I've got to sort some things out. Like, psychologically now. Uh, okay, we've got more peasants coming, so we will allow them to join. Yeah, I need more people. Eventually more people will lead to more coinage, so that's fine. Alright, we've got one house up here that doesn't have water. Just really lowers the desirability. So like I said, they won't thirst to death. They won't die of thirst. Uh, however, that being said, it will make it slightly less interesting for them, so we don't really need it. <laughs> yeah, you could probably exploit that and get some crazy thing where nobody had water out of the challenge. I could sell my dice table, or I could just leave it here, tempting me to spend my money on it. Hello again, future ambiguous amphibian. Oh, I am back, it's past ambiguous amphibian. But I only amphibian. have seven dollars because. That's okay. So I want you to have it. Thank I am you. not worried because one day I will see it again. That's a little uh, jarring and terrifying, but I, I always do love a good message from past AA, uh, which is uh, honestly the real me, and not someone else who sends these hauntingly. Uh, and I get an email whenever they send me that. So I do appreciate the $7. Thank you very much for that. All right, so I seem to have found myself, like, having gotten through most of the content that I thought I would in, honestly, much less time than I thought I would. I mean, there's other stuff. There's, like, baking bread uh, that we'll get up to. There's condominiums where we'll get commoners. But the commoners just kind of stand there and, man, like hold down their shops right now for the most part. Food production, we could get a pig sty right here. We could get these pigs to get some, uh, trade the grain for some uh, meat, which I believe is a slightly more efficient food supply, depending on how you do it, really. Uh, we could get a bakery. We probably will. Though, uh, I mean, most of it is just kind of turning over one resource for another one. I really think right here, um, r right now I'm finding myself in the game as it is, doing a lot of waiting. Uh, I can give them some vegetables. I actually have more, and I could use the... Oh, did I get peasants from that? I didn't really read the event. But yeah, um, I, I think they could just keep adding the content to this game. I, I think go on. Go ahead. I mean, all the things that they have for early access, I, I think go ahead and do them. I, I'm going to be excited to see what this turns out to be at the end. Though right now, it does feel like... Uh, right now, I'm spending a lot of time waiting just for, like, tulips to grow so that I can send them to... And then apologizing to this guy for ending my, you know... Uh, shadow of a relationship with him, and then kind of reneging on it. Although right now we're waiting through the winter for them to, you know, just wait and then grow another hundred tulips. So yeah, no, I mean, for right now, I feel like I don't have enough to make a complete statement on the game, uh, which kind of feels bad, but I also think, like, yeah, it's pretty polished and tight. I haven't noticed any bugs or anything like that. It just feels really solid and like they could add in more content. I like the explorer thing. Uh, and I honestly didn't 
I hadn't tried the exploration thing, although those events seem to be kind of few and far between. It would be nice if there were more of those around the game world for him to kind of do. Um, there are supposed to be other kingdoms and rulers, so it seems we'll be defending because there are walls and barricades and things like that you can unlock. Fortifications. Yeah, walls made of wood, watchtowers, stone. Um, then there were those kind of like palisades from before. So there is content here. I just think that we're not seeing all of it. Um, yeah, and there's the ancient stone guardian, which we don't even have the... Oh, no, we could get those resources. It's very expensive. But it is, again, very expensive to unlock some of these other areas. We have like a like a prismatic liquid pool. Uh, there was another thing over here, too. But yeah, no, I, I think that stuff would be interesting in the game. And I'd, like, I'll be interested in seeing when they implement it. Uh, there right now I am finding myself waiting around a little bit. So I guess I'll get to the end of courting this woman. I don't think I'm going to have much more to say, though. Uh, it won't end up being the longest VOD, and I was thinking we would get a little bit more through some of the gameplay, but yeah, right now this is a game that uh, is high on my radar, and I'll be really curious to see where it is once they get more through early access into 2023. But yeah, no, I, I think that, uh, I mean, I think that the hero mechanic is kind of cool. I think it would be neat if he had other troops to command or something like that, though I haven't really seen that. Um, I mean, for our military, we're going to have swordsman grounds, barracks archery grounds but none of it is in early access right now so it's mostly just like sending flowers to women uh and then waiting <laughs> um but it's cool and i i hope that they get more in it <laughs> that is to say but yeah i'll wait until we've done a little bit more courting but i, I think that's going to be about it that i have to say unless if i discover anything else but yeah pretty cool i like it um i appreciate that they're being honest with where it is in early access but yeah again one that this will obviously evolve as time goes on so be sure to check on the date of this vod once it's finally out okay so he's back at his tent i'm going to send him out here in order to explore these ruins it doesn't seem as though he's doing any combat yet i will kind of comment a little bit about the nature of early access here i i have seen devs who spend days and days and hours and hours and months and months and years and years implementing features that just aren't really relevant to the gameplay. So I do think that what they've done here in order to like uh, sketch out whether, okay, decorative wooden card. I guess it's just exploration right now though. Um, anyway, yeah, I mean a lot of devs will just spend tons of time debugging things that didn't really matter uh, to the core fun of the gameplay, I suppose. Or it seems to me as an outsider. Um, so I do, I do like that about early access. So for right now, we are getting kind of like a, a very light, like not very deep demo, but I think it has the outlines of what could be something really good. Um, and yeah, anyway, I guess that's where I'm at. Anyway, I'll wait now. I now will wait because it seems as though that's about all that we got. Unless if we buy, well, we do have 774 more gold. No, yeah, see, it starts to get more expensive, so it's hard to keep exploring. It gets more and more expensive to keep exploring. I don't think I'm going to find much over here. Can I just buy this area? I wonder what other sorts of things I will unlock. All right, I'll get another 500. Well, anyway, I'll do that, and maybe then I'll court this woman. We could get commoners, but like I said, they aren't going to do much else. They'll just kind of stand around and sell things to each other. I have discovered a lighthouse, of course, at a ruin. These are seemingly... Are, are these, like, helping me? How are they helping me, though? Okay, more of the core. It would be interesting if this had, like, a little bit more of a function than that. I would guess the barricades do. Used to notify overindulging sailors of land. It doesn't really tell me what stats they grant to me, though. I'm curious. This seems like another thing that would be kind of cool in EA to see. Like, even the dice table, although I was horribly scammed by the dice table, it, it was still interesting, I would say. Okay, now we have the tulips, though. Okay, so there is a function to the tulips. Wooing the women of the world. So let's go send these out to Agnes. We send those to her. And I'm pretty sure, though, that unfortunately, because I did want to see the end of this, I think this is about all the courting that I'm able to do. Un unless if she demands second date, third date, true love. Wait a minute. You would say love after the third date? Alright, well, whatever. Jumping right into it then, I suppose. It's funny though, this colony didn't really have to grow as big as the last one. I think I may have unsustainably grown the last one. I will send my hero back. 
Yeah, it'd be interesting if he had people to fight or something like that. Has he leveled up, though? He hasn't really done any leveling up, which seems to show that combat just... simply isn't here. Um... But yeah, I will send these to her, and then we'll see what happens. Maybe she'll love me. Hey, did you get the tulips I sent over to your house? The tulips have finally arrived. It's totally okay to send a normal text asking, Thank you so much for the gifts. My cleansing rain. These flowers are as blue as the... Don't talk dirty yet. These flowers are as blue as the sky. We nurture the earth. And she in turn nurtures us. Our love is freshly sown. Oh, she's getting a seed analogy now. What will come next? Will it sprout? Will we bloom together? Agnes, the harvest princess, possibly related to Neil Young. Um, we do have more events. I think I'm going to leave it there, though, because as for Agnes, missions requires an embassy. We need an embassy in order to do most of this stuff. Uh, we aren't able to woo her, it seems. I just want to go ahead and see embassy, though. Embassy. We didn't unlock an embassy, right? Because that seems to be something that is unlockable later. I just want to confirm this. Papacho Street Theater. Most of the things are just here to make everyone slightly more satisfied. Town Hall Hospital, Marketplace, Embassy. So yeah, this is still not unlockable. So we're sort of stuck in our courting. Which is too bad, because I wanted to keep courting that woman. Who desired flowers. Um, you know, we could keep building bread. Uh, building bread. Baking bread. We could get the commoners and we could slightly entertain our people, but I'm just going to go back to my old save. I'm just going to save this one. Um, create new save. I'm just going to go back to the old save right here. Nope, don't overwrite that. That would be bad. Um, nope, don't exit. Let's go back to the main menu. I just want to reload the old save because I'm going to show you that the commoners no. right now as they're implemented in the last file, which... I got more or less the same civilization as I had this time. Um, they, they don't really change too much about the mechanics as it is right now. I'm sure in the final game they will, but I think that's pretty much a full overview of the game where it's at right now. That is to say, I mean, it's a, it's a good foundation for what they're building. I'm just kind of curious as to what more there will be. But yep, there you have it. Um, two towns, and honestly, I got way more efficient with the second one. This village is essentially just as good as the last one. In terms of its output, but it's way bigger and way and just wastes so much more. Um, I got way better with the roads, so. Uh, we also had a hospital because people were getting sick, starving to death, and dying, but you can just ignore that for now. Anyway, I think that's all I wanted to show. Really beautiful right now, but here were the uh, commoner houses. You can build up small cities, and those are interesting. But yeah, really pretty, and uh, I don't know. We'll We'll be back, I guess that is to say.